uh, within the Ministry of Energy and in the country generally uh, in terms of the, its mandate of providing reliable, uh, adequate and affordable energy. Okay? And therefore playing the role of an enab enabler to sustainable economic growth and development. Uh, in recognition of this very critical role of Kenya power, uh, today uh, I made my inaugural visit to Steamer Plaza, where Kenya Power is seated, I'm sure you know. And I had a meeting with the board of directors, uh, led by the chairman, uh, Madam Masinde. Okay. Uh, the directors and the senior management team led by the managing director, uh, Mr. Siror. And later on, I had a chance also to address uh, employees, a number of them. Okay. And thereafter, again, I had a chance, together with my team, including uh, the PS, to visit the National Customer Call Center at Steamer Plaza before we drove to this National Control Center in Tandora as a way of getting uh, understanding of what goes on. The board of directors are, uh, and management, of course, appraised me on uh, the Kenya Power and Lighting Company's five-year strategic plan, complete with its current level of implementation. Uh, this was meant to help me appreciate the company's work and its alignment of strategies, policies, projects, and programs in support of various national, county, and sectoral strategies, policies, and programs. Now, the engagement also delved on the various challenges experienced, which are normal, I'm sure you know, which are experienced by the institution. And legislative policy and operational <coughs> initiatives that have been put in place or over which they are seeking support from other government agencies and departments to enable it to address them in a manner that resonates well with the aspirations and expectations of various stakeholders and especially the consumers of Kenya Power product, which is electricity. As the interface uh, between the ministry and the energy sector generally, and the consumers or the customers okay, in the entire value chain, expectations of the government and the key stakeholders uh, put a very high demand on Kenya Power, its board, management, and staff to ensure that their strategies, policies, processes, internal culture, and practices remain ethical, effective, and customer responsive in a manner geared towards meeting and, and if possible, exceeding these stakeholders' expectations. The government, therefore, has reiterated its desire and commitment to the reform of strategic sagas, including KPLC, and for KPLC in particular, in order to transform it into an agile, technology-adaptive, eco-friendly, ethical, and responsive customer-centric institution playing a leading role in the country's vision of transiting to total green energy by the year 2030, in line with our Vision 2030 agenda, which I'm sure we are all conversant with. And, of course, while I noted and commended the board and the management team 
and staff for the good work so far done. They are doing an excellent job. Both at Steamer Plaza and in the field, including this National Control Center. I did direct the board as a matter of agency and of course senior management to embark on institutional reform pathway and report and report back to the ministry on a number of areas which I will just summarize. Okay. One is on the area of improvement on operational efficiency, liquidity and balance sheet to strengthen the institution and take it back to sustainable profitability. That we agreed and it was a very, very practical steps mm. that the management and the board are going to take and are taking already actually towards that goal. Two is the implementation matrix uh, covering key projects and interventions with major impacts on the realization of reduction of cost of energy to end users in the short and medium term. This matrix, of course, will include project challenges, resource requirements, timelines for completion, accountability, and expected outcomes. Three is on the area of technical and commercial loss reduction strategy with timelines to reduce uh, the current loss levels, which you know is about 24%. We are thinking if it can bring it down to the allowable level of 19.5% or there about within three years, it will be fine. A report on technical, operational, human capital capacity of not just the National Control Center, but of the entire organization. Uh, we did agree on that because, as you know, this is a very, very sensitive and strategic institution that requires to be optimally staffed. It requires to be resourced mm. optimally at all times. So we agree that we shall look at the gaps where they exist and what measures we can take to fill those gaps. Mm. Okay. There's also number five, which is the issue of customer service improvement strategy. We took quite some time at the call center. And I was impressed, by the way, by the kind of infrastructure that we have in place. I am sure a number of you are aware of, our, of the Kenya Pan Lighting uh, uh, call number. Star 977-HASH. Star 977-HASH. Mm -hmm. Or if you call directly, just call 9771. And they will capture whatever issues or concerns you have and they will cascade them to the relevant offices and persons and they will be attended to by those responsible offices. We want actually to have that system reinvigorated and to have uh, that a process of engagement with the public made more efficient with time. And if it means employing more resources or deploying more resources, we have to do so. So that the customer or the people remain at the center of our strategy, through and through. Mm. And number six, it was the issue of supply chain and logistics strategy that would address the supply of critical materials and equipment at every stage. And I'm here referring to equipment and materials such as transformers, electricity poles, electricity meters, and so on and so forth. Cables. Cables and what have you. So that at every instance, the supply and stocks of these equipment and materials meet the demand meet the demand with a possible reserve. Okay? 
I have addressed the issue of the human capital. I don't want to, I don't want to reiterate it or belabor the point. And of course, there are areas where we agreed that uh, the Kenya Power will continue to engage with sister companies such as Yetraku, especially on the area of shedding off some of the transmission functions mm. and, and infrastructure to Ketraku. Okay? So, all in all, we had a very, very, very fruitful engagement, right from Steamer Plaza, the call center, customer call center, and now the national control center here in the north. And uh, I am confident that these measures that we've agreed upon with the board and management of Kenya Power, if implemented to the fullest possible extent, will have a very, very positive impact in terms of the capacity of the institution to deliver on its mandate, to execute its mandate for the benefit of the people. But going forward, we'll be seeing more and more focus on the customer. In other words, Kenya Power has committed to enhance its communication uh, processes so that at every one instance there is that communication between the company and its end users who are the customers. And there's a mechanism for harvesting feedback and mm -hmm. acting on the same in a timely manner. Thank you.